welcome back everybody in this video I'm going to make storage for my two equalizer four point hitch bars um, underneath my trailer and you might have seen previous videos where I've done that for another trailer every trailer is configured a little bit different to do something like this but uh, you'll be able to follow along and see how I do this um, and then also keep an eye out for this uh, air equalizer shocker hitch video that I'm going to make for storing this in the back of my truck. You're going to be pretty impressed with what I come up with. So I'm going to make that as a separate video and I'll put a link to it in the video description below this one. So you should be able to uh, follow along real easy on these and, and maybe do this for yourself. Um, the cost isn't very much and it's well worth it. It's better than um, throwing these bars in the back of your truck at the campsite or at home or in, in your trailer inside the trailer um, it can take up some room so this will allow you to whenever you're parked you can store the bars in the location that we're going to make here and same with the shocker hitch um, i'm going to make a, that for the back of my truck so i don't leave it on the back of my truck while driving around i don't have it laying in my garage or inside the trailer it'll be in the back of my truck stored ready for me to use at all times at the campsite or at home so let's go take a look and I'll show you what I'm going to work on here. I'll give you a quick rundown of what I have here with my handy dandy pointer. I have two four foot sticks of three inch schedule 40 pipe PVC glue, four three inch clamps, two three inch caps, two female adapters, two three inch caps, and I have a tray here that I store my bolts in so they don't get lost. I have bolts for this project and a few tools and then my bars that will fit inside here. So something to pay attention to is I can leave these on while storing it. And then also they'll slide in that pipe. And then you don't want anything smaller than a three inch pipe because if you do, it's going to be hard to get your fingers in there to take these out, to slide them out of the pipe. So that's about all we need. I made some brackets. I needed custom brackets for this trailer uh, to hold all this in place. And you'll see where I'm going to put them. I pre-drilled everything um, and got it all ready to bolt in. So let's go into the trailer and I'll show you where it's going to go. So with this trailer, I'm going to have to run the pipes under here. There's going to be two pipes under here running across this way. To, and I'll slide the the bars inside the tubes. Our last trailer, I was able to put them right this way and slide the bar in here. So I'll put a link to that video in the description below. So let's crawl under here and see where I'm going to put all this. So under here, I want to show you the bars sit in here, the cradle in here, and they go to about this length here. So what I want to do is I want to put the tubes back here so I'm able to pull the bars out when I'm parked and they I don't want them hitting the tubes as they stick out here. So under here, I'm going to have a, a, that metal strap that I made run from this point to over here. And then I got one on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on and then we'll go from there. So we'll start here on the passenger side. I have my bolt through already here. Rather than going up with it, I have wires up there I don't want to interfere with. So I don't want them rubbing on this bolt here. So this is a 5 16 by three inch long bolt. And so my plate here, I've drilled everything. This is quarter inch stock by two inches wide. And then I have some spacers I made to make this three quarters of an inch because this side is three quarters of an inch higher than over here. So I want this level. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this in here. So I have a washer on the top side. Try to do this upside down. So we'll see how this works. There we go. Then I'm going to do a washer and a lock nut. 
I like using um, lock nuts rather than a regular nut because they they don't work off. So even with a lock uh, washer, I would still be kind of worried that it could come loose. With a lock nut, you know it's staying on. So on this side, we're going to go up. I have an inch and a quarter by 5 16 bolt with a washer on it. I'm going up with it. Then I'm going to put a washer and then another lock nut, just like that. And then I'm going to tighten everything up and I'm going to do the same on the other side. My pipe straps will be right here and over here. So let me get this on and then I can show you what I'm going to do. So now you probably get an idea what I'm doing here. So I have my strap across here. I have one over there. I have my pipe straps here and they'll be bolted into place with one bolt here and one here and one here. So first I want to get my pipe and I want to put it in this opening here and I'll put it down at the other end, probably flush. And then over here, I'll stick it out here. I want, and then I'll mark the pipe to cut it because I want to make sure that my pipe sticks out just a little bit out of the end here, or it might be in there. So I want to stick the pipe in there and see where I need to cut it. Before I stick the pipe in place to measure how long I need it, I'm going to go ahead and put the end cap on here. So I'm not going to use primer because it's not a high pressure pipe or anything. So I'm going to just put my glue on here. Set this down on the table. And then I'm going to run some glue here. Around here. Just like that. I'm going to put this on. Make sure it slides on all the way. And let it dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Now you can see I have it set in place with the cap on. And the reason is because I want to get a perfect measurement. I could do it by holding the tape up and guessing where the pipe would be and everything. But I found this would be better to do. So on this one, on this side, this is the driver's side, I'm going to have the cap here and the bar will pull out that side. And then over here, the cap will be on the other side so I can pull the bar out this way. So if one person's on this side of the trailer and one person's on this one, then we're hooking up the trailer uh, to the hitch it will be easier to do instead of reaching back and forth. So let's go over here. So this will stick out a little bit farther than the edge. And I've measured over here where this will go. This will be about the end right here. And then I have to cut it back here because to allow for the thread. So it'll be like that. So let's get this off and we'll go ahead and cut it. Here's how I cut my pipe so I get a nice clean cut. Nice clean cut. See it? Before I, I get too far along here, I forgot to mention the, the bars that are going to slide in here are 35 and a half inches long. So I'll show you something here. I'm going to measure down from the cap down. And so here the bar will come to here, 35 and a half inches. This cap goes in about here. So I'm going to have roughly uh, a half inch of play, something like that when the bar is in place. So that's something to think about before you cut it. So I figured that out before I cut it. So just want to let you know, you don't want to be cutting this pipe short because it's very expensive. 
I have the first one in place here, and then the second one sitting there, ready to uh, be marked out, which I've done already, to be cut. But I want to show you here on this end cap. See that uh, strap I put in? That uh, end cap just butted against it, but luckily it sits right where I wanted it to. So that's something to keep in mind, allow for this uh, end cap to go on there. Let's go around the other side. And you can see I've got it marked out here to cut. And this one will be longer so the, the uh, bar will fit in there easily. So I want it out so I can reach it because if I had it cut way back there, it'd be harder to get to. I'm going to go ahead and cut that and put it on and set it back in there and come back to you. Everything's tightened up and complete. Just want to show you what it looks like from here. I got all the bolts tightened. And I got to get my pointer in here. The bolt's tight. That bolt's tight. All of them are tight. So this is what it looks like from down below. Let's go up top and see what it looks like. So let's say you pull up to a campground. And uh, you unhook everything. You want to put your bar somewhere. So you have it here. You can throw it on the ground. Throw it in your truck. Whatever. Instead, with this, you just take this cap off. Like that, slide it in place, just like that. Slide it in, put your cap on, and then people will think this is maybe a sewer pipe or something and they won't bother with it. So hopefully you don't see this video and think, oh, I can go steal Mike's bars. Um, so this turned out real well. I'm real happy with it. I decided to leave them white. Um, I didn't buy ABS pipe because ABS pipe is a lot more money for some reason than PVC nowadays. So I decided just to go PVC and, and I was gonna paint them black to match all this, but I thought, you know, what, I'll just leave it white because the black will uh, scrape off and it won't stick very good. Even if I prepared it and sanded it real well, they have uh, paints that'll stick to plastic, but Eventually, over time, it'll break down. So instead, I'm just going to leave it white. It's nice and clean. Um, so if you like this video, I sure hope you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, hit that all notification to be notified of future videos I put out. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And then uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. I appreciate it when you uh, leave comments. and. Tell me if you've uh, done the same project or you, you've done it another way or you want to share information because everybody likes to read uh, what's, what's uh, said. So they might read through the comments and see uh, some, uh, some of your comments of what you've done and what's worked for you. We're all in this together. So uh, let's share information. So I appreciate it. So I hope you have a good time. Happy camping, everybody.